I said today's the big day. It's sort of uh, the culmination of almost two years worth of work. Uh, you know, from the small scale version, everybody's seen that, but in, in terms of scaling up, it's been in pieces for the longest time, and we haven't actually set it up and seen it painted all together. So that's kind of the first for today. So I'm pretty excited about that. Well, I mean, the piece is, is titled Dream Machine. That started off as a working title. Um, as the project went along, it seemed to really start to grow into its name, and so that's, that's what we ended up with. Theoretically, we were supposed to do a piece uh, that had something to do with aviation, and then we knew this is Siegfried and Roy Park, and uh, to try to fit it in sort of without changing the attitude of the sculpture was, was a little bit tricky. In the end, I kind of went with the ideas of more or less like magic and movement and that type of thing. It seemed to fit for flight, seemed to fit well for what Siegfried and Roy did, and it worked with my own work. My work's always been about sort of geometry and natural forces, stuff like that. So that's kind of the basis for the work. Um, the site-specific nature of this was one of the things that really got me excited about it from the get-go because I've lived down by UNLV for a number of years, come by this corner for like 20 years now, so as soon as it, I heard they are going to put a sculpture here, I, that this is where I wanted to do it. And once it's up, I think you'll see like referencing to some of the shapes around you, the, the spiral in the parking garage and that type of thing. So, I mean, I've spent a lot of time out here to really make it part of the environment, not so it's like something that was sat down here, but more like something that kind of grew out of the ground and was here all the time. 